So what's, uh, for, for a bat biologist, one of the big difficulties um, with bats is, is you notice that you, don't, you never hear them. In fact, bats are everywhere. They're the, they're over a thousand species. They're on every continent. But no one, everyone thinks they're very rare because you don't hear them and you don't see them. And the reason why you don't you know, hear them uh, is that they use ultrasonic frequencies. So think of a dog whistle, right? You, you can't hear it, but your dog can. Well, you multiply the frequency of a dog whistle times two to three, and that's how high of a frequency most bats use when they use sonar. Um, so what we normally do when we see bat flying around is we don't hear anything, but we actually look at it on our computer as they're flying. Um, so what's just been amazing for me is these guys are big, and the bigger you are, the lower the frequency. Uh, kind of same like men have lower frequency voices than you know, women because they're, kind of, they're bigger. Uh, same thing with these bats. These are really big bats, and they use really low frequencies for a bat. In fact, uh, 12, it's 12 kilohertz. So pretty much everyone um, can hear these guys. So you get to actually see the bat and hear uh, the real echolocation calls while they're flying. And it kind of sounds like a beep, 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 and you can hear it moving. And you can watch the bat circle while it's echolocating, um, which I've never been able to do because you never can hear them problem with this bat is that no one knows anything about it. Really, nothing. Um, they're big bats that fly high, so no one, cap no one. most people haven't even seen them. They, they, they're hard to capture. Um, they know only of two or three roosts in the whole state. Um, so any information on them at all uh, that we can find. And uh, I was told that historically they were in Coral Gables, but that they weren't here anymore. Well, they're definitely here. You can see them any night at the Coral Gables uh, Granada Golf Course. And um, they're really remarkable because you can actually hear them. So um, one thing I, I, it's hard to believe is that uh, the community isn't really aware that they have, um, they think there's only 300 or 300 to 500 bats left in, uh, you know, in the world. Uh, and they're only here in South Florida. Uh, and no one knows that they're right here in their backyard.